what's up people my name is Salil Bajaj and today I'm gonna showcase how to make an Android application for a UCCW skin now the requirements for making the skin is that you should have Android SDK installed on your PCs or your laptops then you should have your Eclipse downloaded and you should have the UCCW notepad file I have given down in the description and links to all these three things are down in the description now how to start with it first of all you have this Android SDK now no need to separately download the Eclipse cause these days Android SDK comes included with Eclipse so what you need to do is uh, open up Eclipse now head on to the folder where you have the your SDK and there you have your Eclipse and this is the Eclipse.exe what you have to do is just uh, uh, click on it and it will open up Eclipse now this is the workspace that the Eclipse will automatically assign you so you will just have to click OK actually since Eclipse is already open so I'm gonna get on here the next thing you wanna ha you will have to do is click on file go to new and click on project from there you will have to choose Android the second option from top and then in the sub options you will have to choose Android project from existing code so that way you will and that way you will be able to make your apks with real easiness and you know with a, in just about three or four minutes you will have your apk ready now now you will have to import the uccw notepad file that you downloaded now you will have to browse down since it's already on my desktop i can click on ok the next thing you will have to do is click on project to import and under that click this one and click copy projects into workspace and finally click finish my f uh, i mean i won't be able to click on finish cause i have already imported the uh, the project into the java ADT, i mean the eclipse so it's already imported into into the eclipse so it won't be importing it once again so i'll just cancel it i have this uccw notepad now when you have your skin ready i mean when you have exported it into uh, to your sd card uh, for full and it will be in the zip format you will have to extract it and you know you will have to uh, extract it uh, extract it into your uh, into your computer and you will have to browse to it like i have this on in my local list e and the youtube tutorial i created for the uccw the skin that i made is this one you can see so we are gonna be making the skin now what all you need is the zip for the uccw that you exported onto your sd card you need to transfer it on in your in your pcs and then we can get started now so now i assume that you have done all of it i mean you know exported your uh, your zip files of the uccw skins you made into your pcs now what next is you have these two skins here i mean there are a total of three files one is the uccw file dot uccw second is the png and third is the ttf now your resources i mean the whole app will be made of all these things so first of all in this get on to your java edit and click on to assets and delete everything which is it which is there in the assets so that way i delete everything there the next thing you want to do is now your assets here are your uccw and the ttf file that is present here so i'm going to copy this file the ttf file and put it in assets just press on ctrl c to copy and ctrl v to paste so there i get my space dot space age of ttf space age is the name of the font that i used in the skin the next is 
go on to my area in the next is you will have to choose this file press ctrl c to copy the uccw file go on to java edit on the and ctrl v to copy down into assets the next thing is the resolution now as you cl click on re re resolutions you will get about five or six folders i mean these are one two three four five six yeah six folders and four of them will be having these png files this is, this is the image that will be displayed uh, as your app image you know what, what i mean for example you know you you have that yellow image on the temporary app on google play or whatever you know so this is gonna be the image of the app being displayed so go go, go on to your skin and open up the png and rename it to ic underscore launcher click enter and click ctrl plus c to copy this copy the png file and go on to drawable hdpi first click ctrl v and it says do you wish to overwrite the already existing png so of course you want to click yes do the same for control for drawable ldpi control plus v click yes mdpi control plus v click yes control plus v for xhdpi click yes so that way you get your png right here this is gonna be the app image being displayed so we are halfway done and halfway left now you will have to expand your values folder and there is a strings.xml and below it there is android manifest.xml click on android manifest.xml it will open up this stuff and click on strings.xml it will open up this stuff now your package name should be really unique in the android system your pap package name should be unique in the android system so this should be something really unique and this contains one two three four five names with four dots separated by four dots so you could put in any name you know anything you like so i'm gonna put in my name and then all that stuff so it has five names with four dots separating them so my name is salil bajaj so i'm gonna start with salil dot bajaj dot sab just a short form for my name now three words are done the fourth one will be your skin name so it could be anything like it's right there my youtube tutorial you can type in my youtube tutorial dot just click on just awesome or anything else now this is gonna be a version code and version name and if you want to give any updates to your skin you could change this to 1.1 1.2 1 .1, and so on now your you are 75 percent done the rest 25 percent is doing with strings.xml and exporting it now go on to strings.xml click on app name and this thing pops up something like this now you shouldn't be touching the name and you should you have to do something with the value you will have to change this value to you know something again it should be unique and this value is gonna be the name of your app app so you can type in my youtube tutorial so that could be my app name and just don't touch anything else and i forgot to mention that in the manifest.xml the package name it shouldn't contain spaces cause i tried doing that and it always gave me some kind of error so don't do that the next thing is to save them so click on close so save changes of course yep save changes yep do you want to update the launch or conf your launch configuration yes now string.xml we will save the changes finally 90 percent done just 10 percent left exporting work click on file go on to export click from top second one android export android application click next now your project would be in the your pro project name would be your this name you see ucc underscore uccw underscore notepad if you change this name you could change this one but it should be just the same actually it 
doesn't ha it has nothing to do with your app name or something like that so let it be same now this can create a new key store every time for every app else it will take a long time to make the app you know you can just use your existing key store if you create uh, one app use uh, create a new key store and uh, just to remember its location so next time you can just click uh, you can just type in your password and you know go ahead with your work so i have type the password now the same with this the eclipse will automatically create it the first time you created your key store so here also i'm gonna click on the password click next now here is your destination apk file you can change it of course i will change it and the certificate expires in 25 years okay guys now this is important so listen to it carefully the first time you create your key store there is an option to choose the certificate and the amount of years it will be valid for so don't choose less than 25 don't choose more than 25 i mean i haven't tried with choosing more than 25 i have when i chose about 20 years it gave me some kind of error so it's and said to choose it set me to choose 25 years so i chose 25 years you do the same thing for the best results now finally you will have to browse onto the location where you want your apk file to be saved i'm gonna do it in the my tutorial of course now this is the apk you can change the name uccw underscore notepad is, is uh, was the apk name so you can just change it there is nothing you know wrong in doing that i mean it won't give any error or something tutorial and click save finish and three two one boom it's ready oh it it was ready even before i finished my countdown now there's my youtube tutorial and boom i get my apk file that's just 45.6 kb so what you need to do next is you know upload it to your dropbox upload it to your google play share it with your friend share it with your girlfriend do the fuck you want to guys you are now pro you have now probably created your first ever apk so what you will have to do to to you know install it on your uh, on your on your android is nothing much just install this apk transfer it to your phone install it and long click on your home screens go to widgets head down to uccw click uh, i mean choose a 4x4 4 by 2 any widget you like any size you like and then there you will see this name my youtube tutorial in the name of the skins and you can just enjoy your new widget so that was all i hope you guys like my video do subscribe to it subscribe and you know like it comment on it if you got any queries any questions you can just comment down below i'll be always there to help 24 7 thanks again for watching my video